Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The family of the late Labour peer Lord Janna are demanding that the child abuse inquiry postpones plans to investigate him until civil cases are heard. They say they should have the chance to cross-examine his accusers in court first and they plan to use their inheritance to clear his name. Our Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simon's report contains flash photography. Lord Janna was hauled to court last year to face multiple criminal charges of child abuse but he died within months. That left unresolved allegations dating back to his life as a Labour MP in Leicester, regularly visiting children's homes and schools. More than 30 men and women now say he abused them. Some are planning to sue for compensation from the money he left his children. His son, a criminal barrister, is determined to fight the claims. 100%. Our family has decided this is what we want to use such inheritance as there is upon to clear his name. But first, the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse will investigate the Jana case. It wants to know whether the earliest allegations were covered up, resulting in a failure to prosecute. The family's position is clear. He wasn't prosecuted because the allegations were fabricated. They were investigated by the police properly and dismissed as the rubbish that they were. It's claimed the Labour politician used his influence as MP for Leicester West in the 70s and 80s to prey on and abuse boys at local children's homes. In today's detailed statement, the CPS accepts there was enough evidence to prosecute the former MP on more than 20 charges, including 14 indecent assaults on under 16-year-old boys spanning 19 years, two further indecent assaults, four counts of buggery on young teenage males, and a further two between 1977 and 1988. The decision not to put Lord Janna in the dock was condemned by the force which carried out the investigation. Lord MacDonald ran the Crown Prosecution Service during some of all of this, and he told World at One that mistakes were made. It highlights the really abysmal performance of the criminal justice system in this case over a number of years, including, of course, during the time when I was uh, DPP between 2003 and 2008. It appears that numerous opportunities were lost. Unfortunately, contrary to the rules at the time, this case was never brought to me personally, so I wasn't uh, aware of it. But it's obviously a matter of huge regret that uh, he wasn't prosecuted earlier, and he should have been. And why that happened is now being investigated by the CPS, the police and the Independent Police Complaints Commission. What uh, this inquiry is doing is working on an assumption of guilt when he has never been convicted of any offence and is entirely innocent. The family have been told they will not be able to fully cross-examine Lord Janna's accusers at the inquiry, which is why they want to bring the case here to the civil courts. But those who represent alleged victims are worried the courts may decide that too much time has passed for there to be a ruling on whether the abuse happened. They say the inquiry is vital. There's been many serious allegations made against Lord Janner over many years. He was somebody of, of huge importance in the political world, a, a member of parliament sat in the House of Lords, and the crimes are alleged to have taken place within an institution, so they do fit neatly into the remit of the National Inquiry. Lord Janner's family are fighting back against dozens of accusers making allegations spanning decades. Neither side's prepared to back down. Tom Simons, BBC News. And if you